More than 26,000 uh, people, in fact, have signed up and paid for um, access to uh, virtual EHA. So from our perspective, it's been a huge success and we're monitoring the numbers of people who are going in uh, and, of course, expecting it to really build up over the weekend. We, in many respects, we weren't expecting people to take days off work the way they have for um, the live meeting. But we'll come back in a moment and talk about how we hope some people will actually do something different than that for the live days which are coming up. So, so far what we've had is, you know, been, um, been all the live um, symposia that the, the sponsors put on. We had a very um, uh, active young EHA research meeting, which has become a feature of EHA now. They had a, a separate meeting, which ran all day Thursday. And then, uh, of course, we've had the opening ceremony, the distribution of awards, which is always an important component of, of EHA. And of course, part of those award ceremonies is lectures given by the award winners. So, Gilles Sal, Radic Skoda, uh, Tony Green giving talks. Um, as part of the plenary session, of course, we had um, very good talks there from, uh, from Tony Green giving his John Bernard Lifetime Achievement Award lecture, uh, Jean Soulier talking about um, uh, aplastic anemia, and then Martina Mukenthaler from Heidelberg gave a really good talk. She's, of course, an expert on iron metabolism, and she gave us uh, insights into the recent work they've been doing on the unexpected role that iron and iron metabolism has in COVID and how that's uh, something that probably has wide application to other inflammatory conditions, but maybe even some therapeutic impact uh, here. Um, we had the presidential symposia where the top ranking abstracts in each of the settings was, uh, were presented. We had a very large audience for, for that. Um, and of course, today we've got the late breaking um, abstract session. Now, we are very excited about that session. Um, lots of the oral um, uh, uh, abstracts and posters, of course, were submitted when we thought we were going for a real meeting. But the uh, late breaking abstract session, by the time the announcement came, it was already clear this was going to be a virtual meeting. So to find that we had a record number of submissions of late breaking abstracts. We had more than 88 submissions in the late breaking category. And of course, we can only show a small fraction of those, but a really exciting program. And I do hope people will join live to see that. And I'm not going to ruin the embargo by telling you precisely what's on there, but uh, do join us live to, uh, to see that. And of course, like all the other components of the virtual EHA, that then all these live sessions then appear on the platform and remain there until October 15th. So if you aren't able to join the sessions live, you've got plenty of opportunity to go back and look at it again and again. So I hope this is going to be a really exciting day for people at EHA.